everybody else is up there coming down from Whitney. And since I came down the other day because I didn't feel good, I thought, you know, I got some free time. So let's check out the Alabama Hills and I'm going to do sort of like the movie tour. I'm going to show you all the spots. So, of course, Alabama Hills here. They used to film a lot of movies, like old westerns. And then, like lately, they filmed uh, Django Unchained, uh, Superman, Man of Steel, Iron Man. A bunch of cool movies. So I'm going to go to a couple of stops just to show you guys. So let's get to the first one, which is going to be over here. Okay, here at the first stop, um, where I'm at here is just in the rocks. But the film that was here was filmed in 1939. Gunja Den? Probably just missed... I murdered that but right about where my car was where the road is is where the tent city was in the movie it's an old Cary Grant movie once again filmed in 1939 but right down there would be where the tent city is I'll put up a little picture for you guys to show you what it looked like right down there Gunja Den that's stop number one let's get on to stop number two okay we're at stop number two this is where they filmed a 1963 movie called the showdown and right actually on the side of the road, like in the movie, you can actually see like like car tracks. It's supposed to be a western, and there's car tracks in there, but it's called The Showdown, and right through here, Audrey Murphy was riding a horse trying to get away from like the, the thieves. So it came, you can see like that right there, that hill. That's actually in the background of the movie. So let's get on to stop number three. So stop number three takes us to the graveyard site from the movie Rawhide which was filmed in 1953, I believe. So right back here is like where the graveyard was. So it's not any relation to like the old TV show Rawhide. But this is a whole different movie. It took place like at a stage stop, I guess. So I never saw it. Maybe a few of you have, but this is the graveyard site. So that's stop number three. Let's go to stop number four. This here is stop number four on the trip of the movie sets. And this is uh, that Gunja Din movie again. Uh, Tantrapur, which is the city in the 1939 movie was right behind the rocks over here. I don't know if you guys can see like that V in the rocks, but Mount Whitney right behind it. And then the city was like right over there. Pretty cool. We'll go on to uh, stop number five. So here we are actually stop number five. It's the same rocks as in the other movie, but this one's the Gay Cab Calabero. I don't know how to say it, but I'll put it up. It's about the Cisco kid. This is, I guess, where like a hold-up scene was. It was right here next to these rocks. So, let's move on to number six. Stop five was right here. So if I turn around, this rock right behind me is stop number six. And it is from the movie The Tall T. I guess there was like a little campfire going on. There was, used to be a post over here where he was hanging his cowboy hat. I think it was from like 1957. And it's actually a movie that's recognized in the National Film Registry. So right here would be film number or stop number six, the tall T. So we're on stop number seven. You can see this rock here, the RV, then the other rock on the other side. Well, that was from Gunja Den, that same movie again. And there used to be a bridge across. Well, in the movie, they made that it look like it was a deep drop, like it's supposed to be real suspenseful. As you can see, it's maybe 15 feet high. But back in the day, they did their little cinema tricks, and it worked. So everybody was all suspenseful when they got on that bridge. So let's move on to number eight. So just about 30 paces up from where that was filmed. Right over here, you see this arroyo? Well, this is where How the West Was Won was filmed. And right back here, along the edge, is where they filmed a stagecoach coming through. It went off the edge. Of course, went down there. So stop number nine is actually around me here. Let me get you the information on number nine. Stop number nine, same Arroyo right here, but the movie is Hell Bent for Leather. And they had a stagecoach. You can sort of see the old road just to the right. You see the main road just to the left of it right there. You see like a glimpse of an old road. Well, that's what they would use for Hell Bent for Leather. And a stagecoach coming this way, of course, fell into the Arroyo being chased. I guess that was a common theme in all the old westerns was that that stagecoach falling over into one of these. But they used the same arroyo for Hellbent for Leather and for uh, How the West Was Won, right here. Pretty cool to be in that same location as these movies. So as I'm going to the old um, 
stagecoach stop, which is stop number 10 on the movie trail for the movie Rawhide, another stop. I come up, look what I find here. See what that is? That's a whole top to motor oil can. And you got another, like, maybe a beer can or something. But you know they're old. That's why. Oh, you had to open them. And there's another one over here. So these rocks right here, you gotta get on the other side, and that's where the uh, stagecoach stop was for Rawhide, which is stop number 10, which is the last stop on this little movie tour. So let me get to it. So right back here, this is behind it. In the movie, you're gonna see more of this section, but right in this area is where they filmed the stagecoach stop in the movie Rawhide. You can see the rocks here. Of course, it's over on that side. I think the stagecoach stop actually was over here on the other side of the road. But I know these rocks are in the background, so it had to have been right over there is where they filmed it. Pretty neat. See all this history though. So we're on movie road. I'm gonna go check out a couple more things, but this is the last bit of the movie tour. Got one more movie to tell you guys about. And that's uh, Tremors. I think most of you guys have seen that one. I know about a lot of these old westerns, but those rocks right behind me were where they were, they'd be up on the rocks and the, whatever they were, the worms or whatever, couldn't go through the rocks to get them. So that was like the rock that they were standing on to, to be safe. And they'd run to like one of the other rocks. I think it was those over there actually. They like, they had to run to different rocks. That was it. That's the where Tremors was filmed. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit, you know. Thought it'd be cool for you guys to see. So once again, we are in the Alabama Hills. You guys can see all the way around, a little 360. I believe this is where we're going to camp tonight out here. It's all BLM. So, pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy this little side video I made for you guys. If you like it, hit like. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe and comment below. Appreciate it. So until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next adventure.